Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide, and in this video I want to take you through some subnetting worked examples. In a previous video, I took you through how subnetting works, and if you haven't already watched that video, there's a link below this video. There's also a tutorial on the site if you prefer to read about it, and there's the URL here. Uh, just a, a quick recap before we go into the worked examples a class A address has a, an address range of 0 to 127, that's the first 8 bits and uses the first 8 bits for the network and the remaining 24 bits for the node and an example address there 10111 means it has a network address of 10 and a node address of 1.1.1 and same with the class B here and a class C here uh, default subnet mask for a class A is 255.255.000 all that means is we're using 8 bits for the network there's 8 bits there and a class B is 255.255.00 this time we're using 16 bits for the network and a class C is 255.255.255 and a 0 using 24 bits for the network now what you'll find very useful to to get or to create is a subnet mask table and here's an example one here you can download this off the site you just copy the image off the site or you can create your own and there's lots of these tables around on the internet if you do a quick search and basically uh, it makes calculating subnets and number of host bits and mask bits very very easy and you can see here let's just take an example here we've got decimal number of 248 that translates into a binary number here now we're using five bits for the subnet so one 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 which gives us a possible 32 subnets we're using three bits for the host the last three zeros there which gives us a possible six host addresses uh, if you read the notes there you can't use all the host addresses you can't use all zeros and all ones so if we've got three host bits the number of maximum number is two to the three which is eight minus two because we can't have a zero and we can't have ones which leaves us with six and you'll see the same calculation here two to the four is 16 minus two is 14. two to the five is 32 minus two is 30. we'll be referring back to this subnet mass table it's very very useful it makes calculating uh, between binary and decimal and decimal and binary calculating the maximum number of hosts and subnets much easier than doing it manually okay let's start with our first exercise we've got a class A uh, network address and there's the address here 29000 we need to create at least 20 networks on each net on each network or subnetwork will support a maximum of 160 hosts would the following two subnet masks work so let's just go back to our table so we need 160 hosts and we need 20 subnets so go, just go back for 160 hosts here we see here 254 we need 8 bits 8 host bits now for 20 networks I have to go back and remind myself for 20 subnets we need this one here 32 we need five bits for the subnet so five bits for the subnet and we need eight bits for the host so let's go back to our exercise now would these masks do well this one uses eight bits for the subnet and it uses the other 16 bits for the host and so eight bits for the subnet 16 bits for the host would accommodate 256 subnets we only need 20 and 16 bits would accommodate over 64,000 hosts and it's, we only need 160 so that one works and this one here this time we're using 16 bits for the network and 8 bits for the host and we saw earlier on that we only need 8 bits to support 160 hosts and so this one works as well so the answer is yes both would work exercise 2 we've got a class B network address this time of 135.1.0.0 we need to create four subnets and each would have around 200 hosts what's the easiest mask to use to satisfy the criteria there's the default subnet mask and there's the answer the easiest to use is to do it on a byte boundary which means we do it here 
and so the easiest mass to use is 255, 255, 255 and 0. Now this would allocate 8 bits for the subnet and 8 bits for the host. Now 8 bits would, would give us 256 possible subnets, we only need 4. And 8 bits for the host would give us 254 possible host addresses and we only need 200. So that's, that mask using that mask would work. Okay, uh, a worked example using CIDR notation, uh, write the IP address 2221.1.20 and there's the mask in CIDR notation. Well, we convert 192 to binary and again if you go back you use the table and that's what it looks like in binary which means that two bits of this octet are used for the subnet. So those two bits there, that's two bits of the last octet to be used for the subnet. Now add the 24 bits, those, those bits there, plus the two so it gives us 26 bits. So. Uh, a uh, subnet mask uses 26 bits, so we write it as 2221.1.20 slash 26, because 26 have been used for the mask. Okay, another uh, CIDR notation example, write the IP address 1351.1.25, and the mask is 2552552248 in CIDR notation. Well, convert 248 into decimal, sorry, into binary, and it looks like this five ones and three zeros which means the five bits are used for the, the, the octet are being used for the subnet and three bits are used for the host so now we add 16 bits from there and we have 16 plus 5 which is 21 bits so we write it as 135 dot not two dots just one dot dot one dot one dot two five slash 21 because 21 bits are being used for the subnet let's go on to exercise five if you think you've missed a few exercises don't worry i just realized that i hadn't uh, given the other exercises numbers so i just gone back and renumbered them uh, which makes uh, uh, exercise now exercise five okay so subnet class cip address 1951.1.0 so that you have 10 subnets each with a maximum of 12 hosts so the current mask for the class c address is this one here now Bits needed for the subnet for ten, sorry bits needed for ten subnets are four. Um, two to the four gives you sixteen possible subnets. Uh, bits needed for twelve hosts again four. Two to the four again gives us sixteen. Remember we have to take away two, which gives us fourteen possible hosts. And we only need twelve hosts, so fourteen is enough. And we only need ten subnets, so sixteen is enough. So our subnet mask in binary is four ones, four zeros, which converted into decimal gives us 240 decimal. And then we finish up with our final mask of 255, 255, 255, 240. List the address of host one on each subnet. So we're going to have subnet 0, 1, 2, 3, and 10. So subnet 0, 1, 2, 3, and 10. So I've split those eight bits up now into the, this bit is the subnet part and this bit is the host part. So this is subnet zero, host number one. This is subnet one, host number one. This is subnet two, host one. This is subnet three, host one. And this is subnet 10, host one. See so this bit here is at eight, four, two, zero. Now we have to convert the entire 8 bits, not the 4 bits, back into decimal. So this gives us 1, this gives us 17, this is actually a 16 now, plus 1 is 17. This is now a 32, plus 1 is 33. This is a 32 plus 16 plus 1, which is 49. And this is a 128 plus 32 plus 1, which is 161. Okay, exercise six, subnet the class CIP address 205.11.2.0 so that you have 30 subnets. Uh, what is the subnet mask for the maximum number of hosts? Uh, how many hosts can each subnet have? And what is the IP address of host three on subnet two? So again, our current mask is 255.255.255.0. 255, 255, 
We need 30 subnets, so we're going to use 5 bits, 2 to the 5, which gives us 32 possible subnets, and we only need 30. And bits left for the host, if we use 5 bits for the subnet, we've only got 3 for the host, which is possible 8 hosts minus 2, which is 6 possible hosts. So we can have 32 possible subnets, and each can contain 6 possible host addresses. So a binary mask is 5 ones and three zeros which equates to 248 in decimal so our final mask is this 255255255248 the address of host 3 on subnet 2 and these are our subnet bits and so this is host number 2 that's the 0 bit that's the 2's bit so this host 2 3 is going to have look like that because remember these last three bits are for a host, so it's going to look like that. So we combine them two together, so we have 0010011, which is equal to 19. The IP address of host 3 on subnet 2 is 205.11.2.19. And exercise 7, I think this is our final exercise. Subnet the class C IP address 1951.1.0, so you have at least two subnets and each subnet must have room for 48 hosts. So what are the two possible subnet masks we can use? The current mask again is 255.255.255.0. It's a class C address. The bits needed for the host, for 48 hosts, are 6, 2 to the power 6. So that should be 2 to the power, not 26. Which equals 64 minus 2, which is 62 possible hosts. Bits needed for two subnets, are one which gives us two possible subnets so a total of seven bits are therefore needed so we can use either one bit or two two bits for the subnet so we could have a one bit subnet or we could have a two bit subnet and a six bit host so here we are there's one possible mask using one bit for the subnet and there's the other possible mask using two bits for the the subnet and equate those to decimal and the first one equates to 128 decimal and the second one equates to 192 decimal. So uh, masks are 255.255.255.128 or alternatively 255.255.255.192. So those are the two possibilities. So that brings us to the end of the, the video. Some resources you might find useful. If you go to the website, there's a written tutorial uh, covering the same worked examples. You can find it here. And at the bottom of that uh, tutorial, you'll find some links that you might find useful, especially the links to the quizzes. And I recommend you have a go at those quizzes. And the more quizzes you can do, really, the better. And the more practice you get in doing your own subnetting, the better. If you have any comments on the video, then leave them below. If you like the video, then don't forget to like it. And if you'd like to get notified of when I add new videos on the channel, then you can always subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye.